Todd, you and Snacky take the post office. The rest of you scatter out, see what you can find. We eat and me, we'll crack the bank. Now get going. Come on, sweet. Are you looking for anybody? Put him up. Prano. Oh. <laughs> Last call. I've just been informed there's been another brutal and entirely unprovoked raid against the peace of this community. It is undoubtedly the work of Kanida, who has been striking when and where he pleases for the past four or five months. He's apparently leading a charmed life. I feel it is hardly necessary for me to remind you that the honor and reputation of our entire organization is on trial. It's simply a question of who's going to run this community. A despicable outlaw who will stop at nothing to satisfy his lustful desire or the decent force of law and order. My orders to you are the same as before. Get your man. As you all know, Kanida's brother is the only member of the gang so far captured, and he's going to be executed at noon today. And there must be no slip up or delay in the carriage of justice. You all have your orders for the day. Sergeant Berry, you may dismiss and report to my officer, bud. Right turn. Dismiss. Sergeant Barry reporting, sir. At ease. Sit down, bud. Thank you. I'm not talking to you now as inspector to sergeant, but as brother to brother. You're not letting this Kanida business get the best of you, are you, Jim? What I naturally didn't tell the men out there was that I'd received a threatening letter from our friend. As you can see there, he says something about a knife for a knife and a life for a life. If anything should happen to his brother, he says one of our men will surely die. It's not a very pleasant threat to have hanging over the camp. Especially with the success he's been having of late. It's a funny thing, a fellow so thoroughly rottenness he is, having that loyalty to his brother. I know how I feel about you, Jim. I guess that's why I sent for you to unload my troubles. I wouldn't let it worry me like that if I were you. It may take a little time. We haven't missed yet. That's right, we haven't. Well, that'll be all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Pull yourself together, boss. I got bad news for you. They're gonna hang your brother today at noon. It's a lie! No, it ain't. I just come from the post. I heard him.
here so fast, so very fast. Why you not catch Diani? We didn't know you was a girl, miss. But you know it's against the law to cross the border at this point. Come and get me. Even I can't come into the United States from here. We have an immigration service for that purpose. Who on your immigration service? Come back across this line. I will not. You can't cross this line here. But I have crossed. You mounties. Always I hear you get your man, but a girl cannot get. I wish you were a man. Oh, I'm so disappointed. You do not like me as I am, no? No. I'm so sorry. You're so handsome. It's too bad you ride too hard for nothing, eh? That'll pay for the ride, thanks. You can't kiss me. But I did kiss you. Someday you will pay for these kisses. These kisses, I only got one. Poof. We start out after a crook, and we end up at a kissing bee. Since you've sworn to uphold the law, if I was you, I'd come back into Canada. What did you kiss her for? Oh, just to teach her a lesson. You kissed her because you wanted to, that's why. Boy, I ain't seen such flashing eyes since my wife ran off with that milkman. Listen, Rocky, you know nothing about flashing eyes. Yes, sir. And furthermore, when I want your opinion about flashing eyes, I'll ask you for it. Yes, sir. They were beautiful eyes, weren't they? Yes, sir. I wonder what the inspector will say when he reads your report today. Let's see. Pursued supposed bandit across border. Discovered it was pretty girl. Kissed her. still have three minutes to change your mind, my friend. My decision in three minutes will be just the same. It will be a long journey for my brother. And you will be good enough to show him the way. You can't get away with this, Conata. Destroying me won't save your brother. And it'll only make it tougher for you. Inspector, I cannot help but admire you. Hello, Walker. Hello, Are the Inspector Hello. inside? Inspector Winston is in command now. Winston? What do you mean? Why, uh... Canida. An eye for an eye. necessary for me to attend to a personal matter. Has your request anything to do with the Kanida band? Yes, sir. Explain yourself, Sergeant. Well, as a member of this force, I'm unable to follow him out of Canadian territory. 
That's true. And after what's happened, I don't think he'll return to this country personally for quite some time. Kamaitis should be brought to justice through the regular channels of the law. We have already begun negotiations with American authorities to that end. Pardon me, sir, but the orderly force of the law weren't sufficient to prevent my brother's cold-blooded murder. Your request for a leave of absence will be granted. Thank you, sir. And may I have a leave, Inspector? Don't be a fool, Rocky. I can attend to this myself. Well, as you can see for yourself, Inspector, Buck's hot-headed. He needs an old-timer like me along to keep him straight. I'm inclined to believe that Rocky is right. I will issue the necessary instructions. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. And good luck. We'll need it, sir. Put on extra guards for that payroll. Extra guards, bah. We one hand, Captain Conai, the good hand of these guards. <laughs> And like little children, you let yourselves be robbed? Well, listen, Captain, they had the guns on us. And your guns. Maybe you used them to play dolls with, no? They took our guns. You call yourselves the night of men. You do not deserve the name. You should see how Captain Conneider would handle these robbers. Get out of here. I will tend to you later. See that, him, Cap? Who? Oh. Why the fuck they robbed us? Do you know where Kanida is? Kanida? That's him over at that table. Give me a gun, Cap. Captain Kanida? Yes. I'm afraid I owe you an apology, Captain. You owe me three apologies. Well, here's apology number one. Oh. Sit down. Thanks. I knew a guy who bit his lip clean off once. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, buy me a drink. Come on. Two, Jake. I admit I handled your boys a little rough. I didn't know the men belonged to you. And so? When I discovered I put it in on your plans, well, uh, that's what I'm here for, to correct that mistake. So, oh, monsieur. You have heard of Captain Kanida, huh? Heard of you? Captain, who hasn't? <laughs> 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 
another drink. Maybe that'll keep you quiet. Say, you asked for a drink, not a bath. Go where you might be sick. Go on. Your name, monsieur, what is it, please? Oh, uh, just call me Smith. Smith? Hmm. I like you very much. You should belong to Captain Conida. I came here purposely to see you. Oh. Then you wish to work for me, huh? More than anything in the world. Yeah. <laughs> of three of my best men, you have made the monkey. Say no more. From now on, you are working for Captain Conida. That's all I wanted, Captain. Yeah. See? This is Monsieur Smith. Sisk. Hey, glad to meet you. Say, your face looks kind of familiar. Oh, I guess it's because I have such an ordinary mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then from today on, every move you make will be for Captain Conida, huh? Every move. Captain. Yeah. That's fine. Come, oh, we drink. Everybody drink with Captain Conaya. Oscar, meet Captain Conaya. Oscar's a pal of mine. Where I go, he goes. Yeah. If this Oscar is good enough for you, he's plenty fine for me. <laughs> Everybody drink. You will excuse, please, huh? Sure. Hey, you listen to me, Buckberry. You miss the name, you fool Smith. All right, all right. Say, what did you say my name was? Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> Couldn't you possibly think of anything else? It's the first one that popped in my mind. Oh, yeah? Well, it don't matter. I won't be needing a name much longer anyhow. Where have I seen that mug before? For gosh sakes, let's get out of here before she recognizes us. You go, I gotta stay. Ah, never mind. I always figured I'm committing suicide anyhow. The name is Oscar. Yeah. It is lovely. What lovely, eh? Huh? <laughs>
Well, that's the first time I ever saw a guy applaud at his own funeral. Hello. Hello, Monsieur Pope. Please excuse. I'll explain later. That's for you, smart Alec. <laughs> Bravo, Dion. That is to let you know that Dion belongs to Captain Canile. He is the big liar. Dion belongs to no one. Oh, we shall see. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we were both wrong, Captain. I do not like my women today. Dion, she understand that. Shall we drink? Will you excuse me tonight, Captain? I have a very personal business to attend to. <laughs> Captain Conneider, he understand those personal business. Say no more. <laughs> Good night, Captain. Good night. I will see you tomorrow. Come on, Oscar. Sergeant? Hello, Walker. Hi. <laughs> See, is the inspector in? Why, sure, he's inside, Sergeant. You wait here for me, Rocky. Right. What's up, Rocky? The devil, that's what. Bad news? Plenty bad. A couple of guys I know are going to get executed. Friends of yours? Friends of mine? Say, one of them's the best friend I got in the world. I might say I even love him. What's his name? Rocky O'Leary. That means uh, to be... Uh... Executed, my boy. I'm going to be executed. You're mad, Barry. And if you were on active duty, I'd forbid it. The chance of succeeding doesn't warrant the risk you're taking. I think it does, Inspector. <laughs> Since I can't change your mind, all I can say is I hope you succeed. Thank you. But I'm warning you that after tonight, I don't consider your life worth a pinch of salt. Goodbye, Inspector. Sometimes a pinch of salt can go a long way. Go on, Sergeant. Good luck, Sergeant. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck. I tell you, Captain, I've seen that Smith fella somewhere before. What of it, my friend? I got a hunch, that's all. A very strong hunch. Perhaps maybe you are right. Here they come, Captain. Yeah, Smith, I have been waiting for you. <laughs> it was the agreement that business come first, yes? That's right. Listen very carefully to me. At two o'clock, the Shasta mine marked a shipment on the Okani stage. I do not have to tell you my wishes, huh? You want me to... And why not, Smith? Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? That is fine. So, you can take as many men as you wish, or as few. Only don't disappoint me, or make the failure. I will meet you at the American bar. Right. I'll take you, and you, and you, and you. That is good. Now, if you haven't anything more to say, I'll be starting. There is never too much time, Smith. You mark a paid. Get on your dogs, man. Come on. You 
listen to me, Buckberry. I ain't holding up no mind for you or nobody else. The name's Smith. S-M-I-T-H. Get on your horse and come along. Oscar. Uh. Uh, is this a joke? Yeah, but the joke's on you. Well, what's the idea? Say, who are you, partner? The name's Buck Berry of the Royal Canadian Mounted. And my brother was Inspector Jim Berry. Listen, mister. I didn't have nothing to do with that killing. Shut up. Get their guns, Rocky. The first one that makes a bad move gets it. We both can't miss. Now line up. Say, when do we see the judge? Now just be patient, fellas. Buck will see that you have some more playmates before long. <laughs> Again, Captain. That Smith fella ain't what he claims to be. I right, got Shut up, please. I am not worried. I understand men. You will see. See you back. You back the morning, huh? Sorry, Captain. Sorry? <laughs> you are sorry because you get the money? <laughs> I didn't get the money. Somebody must have been wise to us. Go on. Well, everything was going fine. We crossed the border and headed for Shasta. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by a dozen Mounties. And what happened then? The air was full of lead. I saw two of your men go down. You think all of my men were killed? I'm afraid of that, Captain. Never have I seen so many bullets fly in the air at once. Shut up! <laughs> huh? You talk too much with the big mouth. Give me a sizzler, son. I need her. Three of my best men dead. You did not get the money. But you and your friend Mackie escaped without one scratch. That is the luck, huh? I'll say it is, Captain. That is the miracle. Nothing else but. Have you anything else to say? Only this, Captain. I wished you were along. Huh. So you think if your captain was along, you would make the success, huh? I know it. Aye, these too bad. These poor men. <laughs> we will drink and forget. That is the motto of Captain Canido. Forget the trouble, remember the pleasure. That's a swell motto, Captain. Yeah. 
to the pleasure of that personal business, eh? Hello, handsome. Buy a little gallon drink. Well, you've got one in your hand there. But I don't like it. What does it taste like to you? Why, well, it tastes like brandy to me. Well, you know, that's what I thought. But the guy that bought it for me said it was rat poison. Is it? Hmm, Dion. You will dance for Captain Canido? No. When Dion dance, it is for everybody. Let him drink. Poor oh boy, you are starved. Hey, not starved, thirsty. Starved? Is he not eating the water? Listen, starved or thirsty? I've been here a month and you haven't told me what you're doing in a place like the American Bar yet. One has to leave and so I work there. Oh, so that's why you uh, insisted upon crossing a border without a passport, huh? You see? Oh, but you forget. I cross first and then see afterwards, no? You win. Come on. You see, these passports, he cost money, but why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. I was just thinking. You will tell Dion what you were thinking yet? I guess you know without being told, Dion. No, what? Oh, that I, uh, that we... Well, though. Well, Buck. Some other time, Dion. Not another step will I take until you tell me something. Tell you something? What? What it is you think so hard about? Oh, I can't tell you now, Dion. I have a job to finish first. go away. Let this job go unfinished. I can't do that. He will kill you. A man's life to Kanida means nothing. Yes, I know. But don't you worry about it. Come on, let's go back. Go on inside. Thanks, Monsieur, for the ride. It's most lovely. Stop it. <laughs> what's the matter, Rocky? You ask me what's the matter. It's Kanida, that's what it is. He's been looking all over for you. He's in a plum murderous mood. Where's he at inside? No, he's at the shack. He says you've been disappearing too much lately. Come on. Wait a minute. We got seven of those fellas already. Why not get out of here while the getting's good? You go. I'm staying. Staying here until there's no Kanida band and no Kanida. Yeah, no Kanida and no Oscar. saw hung at one time was four. I reckon I'll see you about ten this time. Yeah. <laughs> the boss will get us out of here in no time. Watch and see. You know I'm not yeller, Captain. But we lost seven men in a month. Yes, yeah, seven. I'm for hunting new territory. Shut up! 
We are stay here. I will kill the first one who spoke of leaving until I have found and finished my enemy. Here comes Smith and that loudmouth partner of his. Yeah, speak of the enemy and the come. You mean you think... Uh... I only think now, but I shall know. Hello, fellas. Hmm. Once more, you are late, Smith. Sorry, Captain. Say, what's happened around here? Somebody die? Smith. One month ago, I have 17 good men. Now I have but 10. What do you think happened to my men? I was going to ask you, Captain. You are very wise. Maybe by tonight, I will answer your question, eh? And maybe before tonight, I'll have your question answered for you. Let's go get a sizzler. I need it. I'll take you up on that, Oscar. Join us, Captain. No. Later. Don't forget to drink to the good health of Captain Conido, eh? See you later. Yeah. See where they go. Sizzler, son. Double strength. I sure need her. I feel just like a man going to his own funeral. Let's ride. You are, Rocky. Get this. Get on that horse of yours and ride as fast as he'll carry you. Tell the inspector that we'll cross the line within an hour tonight and all his band. But you're crazy. That devil ain't gonna take a chance crossing the border again? That's where you're wrong. He's gonna chase me across. What do you mean? Here come the see. He's, he's watching you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's he's it gone. taste? Huh? He's gone. Well, not one step. I ain't leaving here till you leave with me. Please go. Tonight, I, he will kill you. Have you refused to take orders? Since you've gone plumb crazy, that's when. I told you before that I'm not leaving here until there's no Kanida or Kanida band, and I mean just that. If you're not going to help me, I'll find some other way. Oh, all right. I'm going. Goodbye, son. Say, when you get up yonder, will you tell St. Peter that I'll be along in about 30 years? Get out of here, will you? <laughs> Yes? Not right now. There's something more important than a drink. Ah, you always make this joke. There is nothing more important than the drink. One less baby, perhaps, at least that personal business, eh? There's something you should know right now. Yes, something I should know. Listen, I found out who's responsible for the loss of seven of your men that you sent me out with. 
You know this man? I know I've seen that face somewhere before. Oh, I wonder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this man? His name is Barry. Barry? Barry? Where is this Barry now? You're looking at him. I joined your gang just to get the murder of my brother, and I got him in jail now, so love him. What happened? What the hell? He is a mounted policeman. After him, you fools. Mounted policeman. Now I remember. from Buck, Inspector. He says, tell you, Kanida and his band will cross the border at 4 o'clock. Work, Rocky. Where are they? They're coming. Wait a minute. They got trap. Surrender in the name of the king. Give it to him.
Don't go. Take her back in there, will you? Everything will be all right. Come on, son, we need a couple of sizzlers. Well, I'll have two sizzlers, one for... Remember this? Well, yes, I... I seem to remember something about it. This is the place where you say, I pay for these keys, huh? And so you will. You may pay me now. Well, well, 